so I'm Robin Lane. I understand that there's going to be an interview that I did that's going to be online tonight. And this is an interview that I recorded back in July. I don't know what's going to be on it. Honestly, I don't remember exactly what I said in that interview. It was a while ago and emotions were so high and there was just so much chaos going on that honestly, I'm not really even sure what I said. And I don't know if it's going to be twisted into a negative light, but I'm praying that maybe there's something on there that I said that can be useful in helping find summer. That's my hope. Um, but I'm not really an interview person and I really don't think that there's anything that I have to add to what's already been said. So um, I'm just really hoping that this is going to be a positive thing tonight. But I just wanted to make sure everyone realizes that this is not something that I just did. This is something that was back in July. So, And I just wanted to clear up some stuff. First of all, yes, we do own a red truck, a red uh, Tacoma truck. My husband bought it two weeks before my dad passed away. So it was about a month ago, less than a month ago, my husband bought this truck. So I don't, nobody needs to wonder if this truck is in any way related to the one that um, is involved in the Summer Wells case because we just got it. And we would have to be a special kind of stupid to purchase the truck that was the one that the police are looking for. So I can assure you that this is not the truck. But if anyone wants to pull the records and, and find out, they're more than welcome to find out. It's not exactly secret information. I am definitely not a spokesman for the family and in several interviews that I have done I feel like people try to take the words that I say and try to use them as somehow um, information directly from the family or make me out to be some kind of representative for the family and I just want to clear that up right now that I am not. I am a human being. I'm a friend. I cherish their friendship. I really do. I'm honored that I was a friend of this family and I hope that I can continue to be because I can assure you right now that I don't know anyone that has been more attacked than this family has. Um, I know that a precious little girl is missing and there's a lot of good intentions that come along with it, but attacking this family has done nothing but hurt the family and it's not helping Summer. And so um, I just I just wanna say that I, I cherish my friendship with them and I never wanna do anything that would hinder that relationship and that friendship. When Summer comes back home, if and when she comes back home and I pray that she does, I'm hoping that we will be still friends, that we will be unified, that her family will still be together, that her mommy and daddy will still be together, that her brothers will be back at home, and that they can all be together as a family. That's my biggest hope right now, and I want to be a part of that. All right, so all in all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who is out there trying to find Summer and restore this family. That's really ultimately what I think our ultimate goal should be, is just to restore this family. and. Um, I'm hoping that she'll be back very soon. I really do have hope. It's not a false hope. It's not just a positive feeling. I really do believe that this little girl is going to come home. And I think that if we can all just get together in prayer and just pray for her, I do think that this miracle could happen. And I think it will happen. So thank you guys.